How's it going everyone? It is Drigit. We're back with another chapter of Dead Rock. Chapter 9, You Can't Have My Prey. In the cover page is another infographic cover with this Alicia on it. I like that it shows her dual forms. That's kind of cool. Also just love that her dislike is Scarecrows. But otherwise not too much that we already didn't know with uh, this cover page. But I still really like the image that we got. So we pick up the chapter with the fight against Cougar and Yakuto and Zalisha are kind of confused as to why Hein knows Cougar. Turns out he used to serve Hein and he owes him a debt, which is where you cut back in time to 10 years ago. And gotta say, Kid Hein is really cute and I like the little leopard print outfit they have him in. He's just focused on training and, you know, Cougar's the one that tries to get him to talk to other people, particularly girls. And Hein is having zero interest in this. But he convinces Hein to go talk to the maid. Kind of love that you don't know what he says at all. Because they, you know, just show him trying to, like, shake her hand. And, like, immediately she's falling in love with him. And Cougar's plan is, like, backfiring. And you get a whole montage of... Hein growing up, all the maids just falling in love with him, and Cougar getting more and more angry as uh, this goes along. To where the reason why he's so pissed off at him is literally because he thinks he stole every woman from him. Which Hein's just like, dude, I do not care. I didn't do anything to you. Which gets Cougar so pissed off that uh, he just goes to strike Hein trying to kill him i do quite like the shot of like his arm against the blade and it like melting his ice and then you know obviously you get a little bit more of cougar's abilities because i don't think he had anything with heat in the previous chapters so Hines saying that he can take him on that uh, he needs to surpass him and you know go find Frey. but yakuto ain't having any of that because if he can defeat him he can have everything you know, the power, reputation, since Cougar is the top of the school. And he goes full villain mode saying that this prey is mine. And he's honestly got like the look of Acnologia practically on his face. And he's not just saying this with no disregard to Frey. Because he's been looking at the book and he realizes, you know, she's out. She's good. She's beating up Jack in the current moments. Which I love that he's like, I didn't do anything. But it's like, you turned her into a piece of candy. Like, what were you expecting? And uh, yeah, it doesn't go too well for Jack because uh, Frey just slams the crap out of him. Which I love Zalisha and uh, Hein looking at the book and like they're cheering Frey on through this book. So the clash between Yakuto and Cougar begins once again, which is one attack. Honestly, doesn't do much of anything, but Cougar's counterattack like just rips off Yakuto's shirt and it looks like it does a little bit of damage to him. And Hein's watching this battle and he's thinking that Yakuto, there's no way he could win because he knows Cougar's strength better than anyone, which is where you get more of his flashback. So I actually love Hein's reasoning for as to why he would like to become Demon King. And it's because his hometown is the world of eternal winter. So it's just snowing all the time. So he thinks if he can become Demon King, he could potentially, you know, fix it to where it's not snowing 24-7. Which when you cut out of the flashback, you get Yakuto on the ground looking like he's defeated. But he's slowly getting back up. And I really like his reasoning for wanting to fight Cougar. Because he's like, if I can't beat him, there's no chance I'm going to be able to defeat God. So he goes to attack Cougar once again, and he just gets punched, and he gets sent flying back. Even still, Yakuto refuses to give up that this is just a wave point on his way to God, which is kind of hilarious as a sentence. And you're getting a little bit of the power of emotion power-up that like Natsu had with Yakuto yelling, I'm going to kill God. That feeling will power my fist, and he goes to punch Cougar, and this punch actually does something to him sending him back also quite love the name of this attack with it being black dragon's fist of obliteration and he sends him actually really flying back destroying part of the library which that attack is probably not great for them because it makes like the library lock onto their location getting the vice principal bren to know what they're potentially looking for 
and uh, you know put a red flag on them. And with that, it is the end of this chapter. So my thoughts. Compared to the last few chapters, I actually really enjoyed this one. I thought it was a nice change of pace. I actually liked the fighting that was happening. I liked the backstory with Hein. Um, I think it was just significantly more well paced because I think the last few chapters have been very dialogue heavy and has been a lot slower. Gosh dang, Cougar is one petty boy with him just being mad at them just because Hein was like good with ladies unintentionally. Kind of cool that Hein just let him have this fight because this could have been, you know, one of those situations where they just bicker over who's actually fighting Cougar. What are your guys' thoughts about the chapter? Leave it in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and this is Drago, signing out.